outfits and thank you for joining me back at my channel okay so this video is going to I'm going to be talking about the new palette that Tarte came out with and this is what the um, I'm just gonna really quickly just show you what the package and everything looks like so this is what the package looks, looks like I like the packaging it's simple it's sleek it's classy and elegant I like I'm a sucker for like good packaging so with this um, palette you get like a pamphlet and it has some um, looks that you can create which is pretty cool and this is what the palette looks like do we hear the angels singing mm. this is such a nice palette I love the packaging um, the only thing is like you're gonna get fingerprints and stuff on it but it, it's easily wiped off like it's not a problem I don't freak out about you know fingerprints or whatever but this is what the palette looks like isn't it gorgeous it's just elegant and stuff so this is what the back looks like so this palette is called the Tartis Pro palette and it comes with 20 eyeshadows and I'm gonna do some really quick swatches oh my god like this palette is so gorgeous the mirror is so big like look how big the mirror is and I, I, I love to use um, the mirror sets in my palette I'm sorry muffins I'm trying not to blind you let me just put this over the mirror so it doesn't have that much um, reflection back so it comes um, with 20 eyeshadows and it comes like with a little plastic on it and this is what the palette looks like it is so gorgeous like gorgeous muffins I used it today to create this really simple look it was just really quick and simple I didn't even use a lot of colors or whatever but I really do like this palette I love it that the colors are so buttery soft and that could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing because it does um there's a lot of um eyeshadows eyeshadow um that you don't get fallout like on your face or whatever but when you're using the brush it does kick up a lot of um loose eyeshadow and I'm guessing that's because um the shadows are really 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 soft and they're buttery and they're creamy the colors are amazing like this palette is all me like I love the rich brown colors I love the plum colors I love that you have like pop of colors in there this color is so gorgeous too so um I'm going to do really quick swatches now remember muffins that when you I use my fingers to make swatches it's totally different than using the brush and then putting the eyeshadow on your eye um, so I just want to put that out there but and then I follow them on um, their social media account so what they said is that this palette is um, designed to where it's already had the shadows laid out for you if you wanted to, wanted to create um, simple looks and you don't know really what colors will go with what colors they did that they did an excellent job with that so the palette actually goes across this way so this is one look here and then that's another look including the look over here I mean the eyeshadow over here so it has like four separate looks that you can create or what I um, like to do also is they like these four looks here these four shadows here will make a really really nice look and I like this because you can go really simple really natural neutral type of eye with this palette but you also can create really great dramatic looks with it especially with the gorgeous um, deep colors here and the pop of colors on the side like the shimmery um, satin colors so this palette is really 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 nice I love this palette so let me start off with with the swatches first and the first um, swatch I'm gonna do is called classic and this color is described as a cream color so this color here and I'm sorry muffins you hear the noise I'm um, outside it's pouring outside now in New York so that color is called classic and they um, said that it's a cream color and I want to show you something you see what I mean by when you um, touch the shadow like it you get a little bit of fallout from the shadow because they are really really buttery so let me um, swatch the next one and you'll see what I'm talking about and this color here it's called innocent and it's a soft peach color I don't know if you can see like the little bit of shadow that's on the palette so it does have a little bit of fallout just tap off your brush before you um, go and apply it on your eye so this color here is called 
um, innocent and it is described as a soft peach color I like to use this color as a transition color which is really really nice and I like the fact that this palette can cater to any skin tone because um, some of the palettes that I do purchase I, I, I really can't find a trend um, great transition color so I usually have to pick up other palettes but this one can do it all do it all so the next color I'm going to swatch is called Whims Whimsky and it's a gorgeous brick color this color is so gorgeous this color is really really nice you can actually use this color as a as a blush as what I did I've used that today as a blush but this is um, like a brick color the next color is called smoke and it is a rich um, pigmented my I add pigmented um, dark brown color and that is so pretty and I'm so happy that they put in a couple of options for um, dark colors that you can use they didn't just give you a black and a brown and then that was it no they really gave you gave you a lot to choose from so the next color I'm going to swatch is called ethereal hope I'm pronouncing that right and this is described as just a nice gorgeous bronze color really good to use as a highlight just a gorgeous gorgeous color and then let me show you what the highlight looks like I have a little bit of highlight on now though but I just want to show you what it looks like if you use it as a highlight you see how you get that gorgeous highlight color of course you would um, blend it out a little bit more but as you can see it looks really nice on my chocolate skin and it looks fabulous on my daughter's skin my daughter is like a NW 50 or 55 see how nice that is just gorgeous so that's um that color is called ethereal and that's a bronze color so the next color is called vintage and it's just an ivory white color um i just i probably won't get much use out of this i just feel like it's too white for my skin tone but that's just me <laughs> the next color is called fierce and this is a gorgeous plum color oh my goodness this color is so gorgeous and this color is just everything this would look really nice as a transition color or just one color just sw sweeped across the eye and then you just use a pretty highlight color in your inner tear ducts no fuss with it but it's a really really nice color so the next color I'm going to swatch is called no filter and this is described as a purple mauve color really nice color there and the next color I'm going to swatch is called Vamp. Now, I love this color. This is a deep plum color. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. This color is gorgeous. And I think that, um, I'm going to say this again. I think that this color, that this palette and the colors that are in here is so versatile. And I, I love the fact that chocolate girls, African American women or deeper tone women can actually use all the colors in here. Like, it's just across the board anyone can use these eyeshadows they're gorgeous so the next color I'm going to swatch is called chic and it is described as a pale pink color now this one gives me a little bit of fallout it gives me a little bit of fallout but once again just tap your brush off before you apply these colors to your eye okay so the next color I'm going to swatch is called um, profess <laughs> I don't know some of the names is just kind of weird to me but I don't know why they named it that color but this one is gorgeous too and this is just a nice taupey color that's a gorgeous color great for a transition color also especially on our skin tone really really nice so the next color is one of my favorite colors out of this palette and it's called mod and it's described as a deep cherry color oh my gosh I'm going to rock this color this winter this color is so gorgeous just a nice blown out look with this gorgeous especially on our chocolate skin very very nice the next color is another color that I really do enjoy too and it's called drama now drama is described as just a maroon color really gorgeous Maroon is one of my favorite color. I, I love earth tone colors. So there's maroon. And let me swatch the color called glam. 
and this is a shimmery color I forgot to swatch that color it's just a really nice champagne color look at that this will look really nice you know as girls love to highlight look how bright that color is of course you would blend it in but look how that looks on our skin tone like it really really is gorgeous look at that I probably put a little bit too much but you see how really nice and high pigmented that is and it just looks amazing against our skin tone girl glow 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 so that was glam so the next one I'm going to swatch is called minx and it's described as a shimmering oh my gosh what the color's gorgeous it's described as a shimmery mauve color oh wow I really do like that that is gorgeous gorgeous color okay so the next color I'm going to swatch is called indie I'm gonna put that here and this is a really uh, pale color um, it's right here it's like a nice soft beige color I don't know I would really have to I probably would use that up underneath my to highlight my eyebrow arch but probably wouldn't use it plain on myself that's just me um, I'm really not into pale colors like that but it's cool so the next color I'm going to swatch is called bold and this is just a light brown color I'm glad that they gave us a lot of variety of brown colors and light colors and medium tone colors that we can use in this palette which is really really nice so this color is called bold and I'm going to swatch it for you now gorgeous color you can see how smooth that these colors go on so the next color is called edgy and edgy is described as just a nice chocolate color very pretty very 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 pretty and this color would be really nice to smoke out maybe the mod color like if you put this on so this is the mod color here it'll be this color here it's a really nice color to smoke that out for our skin tone deeper skin tone really really pretty so the next color I'm going to swatch is called Punk, and it's just a black um, eyeshadow. Really, really pretty. Nice black eyeshadow. And the last swatch is called Trendy. Now, Trendy is a teal color, like a dual chrome. And honestly, it reminds me of, um, what is that color by Makeup Geek? Oh my God, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what it is. What is it? Goodness gracious. It's one of um, Makeup Geek's eyeshadow colors. It kind of reminds me of that, of one of her loose pigments. But this color is just a dual chrome teal color. So, once again, you get 20 colors in this palette. Gorgeous muffins. I mean, I, I was really, really excited waiting for this palette to come out. And I did see a couple of swatches on their um, Instagram. And I just had to have it. Like, this is the perfect 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 palette for I'm gonna I, I don't I don't I don't know if anyone is gonna really get offended by me always saying um for dark skinned women but I'm a dark skinned woman and I sometimes have a hard time finding colors uh, eyeshadow colors to really fit really nice um with my skin tone this palette is everything everything the colors are pigmented you can use some of the colors for blush this one you can actually use it to contour this color um, called smoke and these colors here are great for highlight this one this one and this one gorgeous for highlight I like that there are a lot more matte colors into this palette than shimmery I'm more of a matte girl so I like that they're um, really packed this palette with a lot of um, matte palettes and gave us some choices for some shimmery palettes so I'm going to leave the information below to where you can purchase this at it is still in stock so um if you want to get it i highly suggest that it. it's not a must have palette however it's a gorgeous palette i don't think you would regret buying this palette because you can just find uses for it even if you don't use it use all the eyeshadows you can pick and pop you know colors on the lower lash line and just have a really good time with this palette so that is my review muffins I want to say thank you for joining back at my channel and I'll see you muffins on the next one bye muffins